Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 21 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to replace all the string values of CSV file with null using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see the requirement in details. So here is our use case. As you can see, the first image is our source data. Okay, so this is in CSV format and we have four columns. ID, marks, age and salary. So all these four columns expect integer type of data. But here you can see marks is having one value as ABC. Age is also having a value in string that is PQR and salary is also having a string value that is XYZ. Okay, so we want to uh, replace all of these string values with null in the output data set. So how to do it using uh, data flow. So let me go to Azure portal and let me start creating the data flow. So first of all, let me show you the source data. So here is our CSV file that is integer values dot CSV and this is the uh, source data. Okay. So we want to replace all these string values with null. Okay. So if this requirement would have been uh, for a single column, uh, if we wanted to check only for salary column, if there is any string value uh, and we want to replace it with null it would be only one step process to add a der derived column transformation and uh, to replace it with null okay but suppose if this data set is having uh, more than 100 columns then uh, if the same requirement would be there it will be a very pre um, pretty hectic job to check each and every column and uh, to replace the value okay so how to do it uh, in a single go how to perform this transformation of uh, replacing string with null okay so let's go to our azure data factory portal and let me start creating the data flow so here first of all we have to enable this data flow debug option so that we can preview the data during the creation of data flow so let's wait for this cluster to be started yes so now the data flow debug option is ready let me add the source transformation and here let me create a new data set pointing to my Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 and here let me select CSV format as my source data is in CSV and let me navigate to the file path. I have the file in a demo container. So let me go to demo container and let me select the file that is integer values.csv and as we can see uh, the first uh, row is the header. So let me select this first row as header and let me import schema yeah so the data set is ready let me go to data preview and refresh so that we can preview the data yeah so our data is visible so you can see all the data are coming properly and these three values we have to replace with null okay so first of all let me add a derived column transformation and let me perform the same job for a single column so suppose for salary so basically salary column expects integer type of data but here for one row it is having string data so to check the data is present in integer format or not we can use two integer function okay so what this function will do if inside this function the argument is integer itself it will return the uh, same integer value as the output okay and if we provide this integer within quotes, then this would be actually uh, coming as a string. So it will convert string into integer. Okay. But if we provide ABC within quotes in this two integer function, the equivalent integer value is nothing but null. Okay. So let me use this two integer function. And for dummy data, let me use ABC and let me hit on refresh. Let's see what happens here. Let's wait for this to be refreshed. It will basically return null as we have given ABC as the value inside integer. So you can see it is returning as null. And similarly, if we ha would have given 1, 2, 3, it will return 1, 2, 3 as an integer value instead of string that we are passing here. So you can see. Okay. So basically to convert these values into null, we can use our column name inside this two integer function. So let me select salary column within this two integer function and let me hit on refresh so we are expecting all the other values will be returning these proper integer values but in instead of xyz 
it should return none. So you can see this is what is happening. So now we are good with salary column, but we have other columns as well for which we want to convert string into null. So we don't want to repeat this code for each and every columns because suppose we have lot many columns, then it will be a very hectic job to uh, write this kind of in, uh, this kind of expression for all the columns. Okay. So what we can do is we can add a column pattern. Okay. Let me delete this existing uh, query and here we have to write a matching condition. So here in the matching condition, we have to write a Boolean expression that would perform the match based on column name or type or stream origin or its position. Okay. So these options are there on the basis of which we can perform the match. Okay. So suppose we can write if the name of the column is equals to equals to uh, salary, then perform all this whatever expression we will be writing here those actions or those functions would be applicable only for the uh, column whose name is salary okay so here i what i'm going to do is i'm going to check for the column type wherever the column type is equals to string okay so how will we check uh, for which column this value will be holding true let me go to source transformation again and inside this inspect tab we can see all these column names and these are the column types so this condition or this expression whatever we are going to write it here it will be affecting all the columns which are of string data type okay so in our case all of these are string data type so we are good with that and here in the column name expression so here in the column name expression, if we provide this double dollar symbol, then then each matched column will be updated with the same name or same column name coming from the source. Okay, so we want the column names to be same. So let me give dollar dollar symbol. This will be applicable for all the columns that will be matching this condition. Okay, let me open this expression builder again. And this value expression will determine how we want the data to look in the output. Okay. So here we will make use of two integer function. And inside this two integer function, we will provide dollar dollar symbol again. Okay. Let me remove this bracket from here and let me provide it at the end. So basically this expression will take the column name from source and it will return the same column name in the output as well. And in the column value, it will take the value from the source and on and on top of it, it will uh, apply this two integer function to the uh, source data and whatever the result we will get for all the matching columns uh, that will match this condition, it will return the result. Okay, so let me go to data preview and hit on refresh. Yeah, so the data is visible now. You can see we have successfully replaced all the string values with null. If if I show you the source again, let me go to preview data and you can see here in the marks column, the third row was ABC and it has got replaced by null. Similarly, for age, the first row was PQR and here it got replaced by null. Similarly, for salary column, the second row was XYZ, which has been replaced by null. Okay. So basically with the help of this column pattern settings, you can uh, write down the expression that will be uh, reducing your manual effort to write expression for each and every column. Okay. So this is how we can achieve this kind of transformation of replacing string with null. Okay. Now let me add sync transformation and load this data into our output uh, file. So let me make use of uh, ADLS Gen 2 here and let me provide CSV format and to load the data, let me write down the uh, data into ADLS output folder and we will give first row as header no need of importing schema here and in the settings let me give output to single file and here we have to set single partition here uh, for the file name let me give output replace to null dot csv and now let me call this data flow within my ADF pipeline and let me hit on debug so let's wait for this data flow execution to be completed. Yeah, so the data flow execution is completed. Now let me go to output container that is ADLS output. And here let me search for output replace to null. Yeah, this uh, file got generated. And let's see the results. 
so you can see all the string values got replaced with null okay let me download the file and check the output properly so you can see all these values have been replaced by null so let me go to presentation again so this was very small use case that we were able to achieve using column pattern so i hope you like the content please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet thank you please stay tuned